Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Data Bears. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a lollipop chart. Something that looks a little bit like this and yeah, it might seem a little bit crazy but I'm going to show you all the little tricks that will allow you to end up with something like this. So let's head over to my laptop. So this is one of those tricks that involve error bars. Yes, I do love error bars because they are so flexible and allow you to do so many tricks in Power BI. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to build something that looks like this. Let's just drag. And by the way, I'm using already the new on object interaction feature, which you can enable if you go to the options and in the preview features, you can enable this feature if you want. Let's build first a line chart because we want a line chart for our error bars. We want the country and then the sales. So in the beginning, we will end up with something that doesn't look amazing, as you can see. So and the reason I'm using again the line chart is because you can create these error bars in the line chart and then format the bars and also the the data points more easily the data not the data points i'm forgetting the word but anyway you will see it later so we have our align chart and now this is going to be weird because it never shows the formatting pane and i hate this okay so let's bring the, our old good old formatting pane back you can right click here and then format canvas yes and it's back finally now in the formatting pane like I said, the trick here it is to use error bars. And here we are in the error bars. And as, you, as per usual, you need an upper bound and the lower bound. You need to define the upper bound and the lower bound for your error bars. So the upper bounds, and I was lazy, I didn't create a measure. I'm going to create one now. The upper bound is going to be the value of sales itself. So sales total, something like this. Oops equals to the sum of sales. So this is our upper, upper bound, or I'm going to change the name actually to upper bound. And I need the lower bound also. And the lower bound is going to be zero because I want the bars to start at the zero baseline, at the zero point. I have the brain of a little fish, goldfish sometimes. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. It's equal to zero. Upper bound and lower bound. So, and again, new, feature now you don't have two formatting like uh, two tabs one for the data another one for the formatting pane you need to switch between these two little things yeah annoying in the formatting pane we have upper bound lower bound and now instead of dragging we need to get our upper bound here so the upper bound is going to be the sales value and the lower bound is going to be our zero value and then we have to enable this First, now I have something that looks a little slightly different and that's fine because we need everything to start from the zero baseline before it wasn't starting from the zero uh, kind of yeah sales. So that's why it looks a little bit different. Now, in this case, we need to format our error bars and how am I going to format it? So first, I don't need the tooltip because the tooltip, if you hover over it, it shows you this. So I will disable this tooltip. So now it only shows the sum of sales. And I don't need error band, not error labels. And I'm going to format this, the shape. I don't want any shape because I want this to look like a bar. And I, I'm going to increase the width to the maximum that I can, something like this, 10. And you can also change the color of the bar if you want to, I don't know, purple, for example, or blue, something like this. So we have like bars now instead of a line chart. But now I need to remove this line from here. So with any one object feature, you can double click and just take out the line. The stroke, you can set it to zero and then the line is gone. But I want the markers so that I can have those kind of lollipop kind of thing. The head of the lollipop, the lollipop itself, the sweet part of the lollipop, not the holding. Anyway, so let's enable the markers. And now we have these little like uh, rounded things here, but I'm going to increase the size of the marker by a lot. 
so we can have like this uh, idea of a lollipop and with the marker you can actually go past like the 10 pixels uh, that you have for the bar the limit that you have for the error bars and i'm also going to change the color to pink so now i can have something like this and of course you can format this a little uh, just i would probably remove this country from here and again see i'm working with the, like both the on object interaction and also the formatting pane to speed up the process a little bit instead of like scrolling up and down in the formatting pane it, i just double click here and this takes me directly to the place like in the formatting pane that corresponds to the y-axis title in this case and just disable it also maybe making this slightly bigger and bold probably take these yeah this lines here so yeah you can also change the title and you can have this as sales by country format the title to show a little to be a little bit nicer bigger and that's it we have very easily we managed to build a lollipop chart and yeah without using custom visuals so Again, pretty easy to be creative with the standard features in Power BI if you want to. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I post videos about Power BI, data visualization and a lot of little tricks in terms of how to visualize your data in Power BI. So if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos, just make sure to hit the subscribe button. Comment down below, even though I don't reply to comments often. Uh, I do read all your comments, so uh, give me suggestions for my next videos and I'll see you in the next one.